In these problems, we're looking at the probabilities of intersections or unions. And the way to think about this, um, there are a couple of qualities in this problem. So uh, employees can either be college graduates, or they can have more than 10 years experience, or they can be both. And you can think about this with a Venn diagram. So one of these circles could be college graduates. The other circle could be 10 years of experience. The ones who have both are the intersection of those two. So that's that group. The union of the two is just everything, one, the ones who have one or the other or both. All right, so uh, this problem says at a certain nonprofit, 61% are college graduates, 37% have more than 10 years of experience, 68% are college graduates, have 10 years of experience or both, so that's the union, and we want to find the probability that a randomly selected employee will have more than 10 years of experience and be a college graduate. So we're looking for this intersection part in here. How do we go about this? Well, there's a handy formula that's going to help us out. It's called the addition formula of probability. And what the addition formula of probability states is that the probability of the union of two things, so college graduates, 10 years experience, is the probability of the first thing, college graduates, plus the probability of the second thing, 10 years of experience, minus the probability of the intersection. So we write that like this with the upside down u. Okay, so there is our addition formula for probability. Now, we have a lot of these pieces. Let's see which ones we have and see if we can plug them in. It says, 61% um, are college graduates. So that's this one. So I'm going to put 0.61 in there. 37% have more than 10 years of college experience. So I'm going to put 0.37 in there. We don't know the intersection. We're actually looking for that. So I'm going to call that x. And then it says 68% are either one or the other or both. That is the union. So out here, we have 0.68. And now what we've got is a relatively simple algebra problem to solve. So let's see, we've got um, 0.98 over here minus x equals 0.68. We're going to subtract 0.98 from both sides. We get negative 0.3 equals negative x. So x equals 0.3. So our probability is 0.3. You could also write that as 30% uh, percent. they wanted this as a, de as a decimal. So our answer is 0.3. Let's try another one. So this problem says, suppose that 50% of all adults in a certain community are obese and that 37% suffer from diabetes. If 13% of the adults in this community are both obese and suffering from diabetes, and let's actually just draw this out right now. So we have obese and we have diabetes. This is 50%, and this is 37%. And then it says 13% have both. That's the intersection. So that's 13%. What is the probability that a randomly chosen adult in this community is obese or suffers from diabetes or both? That's the whole thing. That's the union. And we're going to use this addition formula for probability, which states that the union of the two, so obese, union, diabetes, is the probability of the first thing. Well, the probability of the first thing of uh, obese is 0.5, that's 50%, plus the probability of the second thing, that's 0.37 for diabetes, minus the probability of the intersection, and that's going to be 0.13. So this problem comes down to just some simple addition and subtraction. So that's 0.87 minus 0.13. So that should equal 0.74. So that's a little bit of work with the probability of intersections and unions.